first, we done redstone torches. Then, we done logic gates. <laughs> and then, we done tea flip flops. <laughs> hey guys, you're watching Simon Only. My name is AJ, and we are back on the next episode of Redstone from Scratch. Uh, <laughs> you heard what we've gone through already. Today, we're moving on to the RS Norlatch, a very important episode if you guys want to start doing more advanced redstone creations, especially ones that you want to invent for yourself. This is a very important one. It's the RS Norlatch. Basically, what an RS Norlatch does, let's put down a lamp so you can see some sort of output, something changing. Okay, if we push this button, the redstone lamp comes on, and it stays on, even though it's from a button. But it's not a T flip-flop, because if we press this button again, absolutely nothing happens. Okay, to turn this redstone t lamp off, we need to come around here to this button. We push this button, and it now turns the lamp off. So, an RS Norlatch is something that can turn on a signal only once and then it has to be reset okay so on and off okay now you might think well that's pointless I might as well use a T flip-flop and then I only have to use one button yes but there's stuff that RS Norlatches can do which we'll be getting into later that T flip-flops can't so here I've just got a smaller design a little bit more compact I don't think I really need to show you how to <laughs> how to build that I'm pretty sure you can do it by yourself and the same as this one here with the torches on it so this one here we've got on so this is the output again look out here and off okay so it's a bit smaller we've got one that is even smaller than this so we can have this output pretty much anywhere we want it really let's um pff, I don't know well you guys can see what I mean this redstone la um, dust let's say it's the output so we've got on and off okay so this one is done in like a corner shape of whatever block you want a button there a button there torch on the this side which powers this block which powers this redstone which turns this torch off which means this redstone isn't lit but then when we power this what happens is when we push that button the redstone torch went off which means it can't power this anymore which means this torch can come back onto its default state powering this redstone which powers this block which powers this redstone torch and the cycle's complete so it's like stuck almost and then when you do this one it then flicks it back round again okay so now we've got that I always like to use an example of a of whatever we do and I always use doors just because doors are the most commonly used thing on any of you your survival worlds stuff like that you have doors for every building that you go into so we had a T flip flop door before we had a uh, and gate door there so and gate door then T flip flop door now this is an RS Norlatch door so the RS and RS Norlatch by the way if you haven't guessed already RS stands for reset or resettable so it's the resettable Norlatch and with this let's say we've got this button we push this, the door is now open, we walk through the door, we stand on that pressure plate, which closes the door, and now we can't get out. No matter how much we stand on this pressure plate, we will never get out. Okay, so if you had this uh, as a room, for example, the most easiest example I can think of would be an adventure map. If you were doing an adventure map or a puzzle map, and they finished the round, so let's say they collected all the stuff, the door opens, boop. They go through to the next level, they stand on the pressure plate, and they can no longer uh, go back into the previous level again. Okay, so here we have a very simple setup. The button backs onto this piece of redstone here, which is connected to the small RS Norlatch that I showed you. You can use any RS Norlatch that you want, I just used this one. And then this, off this redstone here, I've just got a torch, which is currently off because the door isn't open, but that goes to a repeater which powers the block underneath the door. So when we power push the button, it flicks the redstone signal over onto this side. So this redstone is no longer powered, which makes this torch be on its default state of on, powering the repeater, opening the door. And then when we come through the door and we stand on the pressure plate, because this is no longer lit, let's push the button. Okay, so the door's, door's open now. And this redstone is no longer lit, which means if we stand on that pressure plate, 
It's going to light up the redstone going this way, go into the RS NOR latch, and reset it. Boop. I didn't stand on it. Boop. Stand on it. Thank you. <laughs> and reset it, okay? So, really, really cool. But not the most useful thing. There's not many people that are going to use the RS NOR latch for that. Uh, I did think about, or have put in here, uh, a couple of not very efficient uh, ways to do an RS NOR latch, but using TU19 blocks, okay? So here we've got two hoppers that are facing into each other, and two comparators, okay? One coming out of each one, and we've got one item in... It doesn't matter which one you put it in, but I've just put redstone dust in there. Uh, this was originally... I originally saw this on Mumbo Jumbo's channel. I thought, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, it's very small, very compact, not very uh, resource-friendly, seeing as though you can use just Dutch, Dutch, dust and torches for those ones. But, basically, if I push this button, uh, it, it would power this one. And if I push this button, uh, it powers this one. Okay, so it's like on... Reset. On. Okay, and if I push it again, nothing happens. Okay? You literally have to press the opposite one to the one that you want. Okay? A very, very simple RS NOR latch here. Using, again, TU19 blocks. We are getting into the cool stuff in a minute, so hold your horses, guys. So, uh, this is a very simple one. If we push this button, it turns it on. And if you push this button, it turns it off. Okay? So, it's literally... Uh, an RS NOR latch, but just done with pistons instead. No sticky pistons required, just normal pistons. So we can turn the lamp on, and we can turn the lamp off. And that's because this redstone block is basically like a movable redstone torch, like we've said already. And when it goes over this block here, it powers this redstone, which obviously powers the torch. So, what is this, AJ? This looks crazily, crazy, crazy complicated. It's not, okay? This is an RS NOR latch array, okay? And an array is basically a set of RS NOR latches put together uh, for different reasons. One reason or, or one uh, use of an RS NOR latch array would be the combination lock that I done on the last Redstone series. We will be rehashing over that later on in the series, further up the line. Um, but that's one way, one use for it. Another use, which is quite useful, would be some sort of uh, countdown or, or or score tally, not not countdown, but score tally. So, if I, for example, have redstone lamps here, I push this button, the first one comes on. I push the button again, the second one comes on. Push it again, the third one comes on. So, if you you could have this as a scoreboard for a football mini game, if you made a football mini game or some sort of mini game where you had to count something, you push it again, and you push it again. <laughs> So a really, really simple one. And then this button over here is the reset. Boop. And it turns them all off. So how does this work, AJ? Before we build it, let's go through and, and, and talk about how it works. So we've already seen how an individual one works like this. And we've basically just got this over and over again. However, we do have a little bit of redstone going on in between here, which I'll explain in a minute. Uh, but if I... As you can see, this piston is the only one that's retracted. This, these four pistons here are extended, which means when we push this button, this piston can push the redstone block across, but this piston can't push this one across because this piston is extended. It's blocking its way, and the same with all of these. But what happens is if I push this button, the redstone block goes across, which powers this block, turning this torch on, coming back around here, which then turns this piston off, so uh, the next one can then be released. Uh, it sa that sounded really complicated, and I know I'm not the best at explaining things, but hopefully, if I say, if I push this button, you will see this piston push the redstone block, and then you will see this piston uh, detract. So, push it. Do you see that? So now this one is retracted, so now when we push the button again, this piston is going to activate, but it's not going to do anything because the redstone block's already there. But this one can now be activated and be pushing at this spot, which then goes through this redstone here and pulls this piston back. So we push it again. Boop, boop. And then you do it again. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. 
and then the reset line, and then the last one can light up, and then the reset line here, all this does is just powers all the pistons over this way and resets the whole thing. So it just shoves them all over that side, and then only this one comes back because this torch isn't powered. Okay, and it goes on. So, let's build it. Very, very simple. I think the easiest way to do this is we're going to start off, let's get a block that you want to build with. We're going to need normal pistons. We're going to need a redstone block. We're going to need some redstone dust. We're going to need some torches. Now, I would put up on the screen the amount of stuff that you would need, but the amount of stuff you need is variable because it depends on how long you want this to go. You can put it as long as you want, basically. Uh, and you're going to need some repeaters. So, we'll start off by building the um, simple one at first. So you're going to place down uh, a block there with a piston on it, a block there with a piston on it, and a redstone block in between it. Okay, so that's what we had before. And then we had our buttons there and there. So that was on, and that was off. Okay, so what you want to do now is you're going to remove these buttons. You're going to remove that block and move it over one because we're making it into an array, and then put one block there, okay? So that's step one. Step two is you're going to hook this redstone up to here and put a torch on the back. And this torch here is your output. This is what you're going to put to redstone lamps or doors or whatever you want, okay? And then on the back of this, on this uh, block here, we're going to place a torch on the back, a piece of redstone here, a block here, another redstone torch there, and a block on top. Okay, I'm doing it as slowly as I can so you guys can build along. But that is it. That's your first array. So now it's time to start the second one. So the second one, you're going to place a piston here. And as you can tell, like the last one, this one will extend because it's not ready. Okay, it's not uh, in line. Uh, this is like the first array and the second one. The second one in the array, okay? Second iris Norlatch in this array. So then we're going to put another piston there. Redstone block. And do the same thing. So we're going to build exactly the same thing. We're going to have a block underneath the piston. And a block to the right of the piston. Then you're going to have your two redstone just like before. Your block. And your torch. And then you're going to come off it again. Exactly just mirror what you've got here. So we've got torch. Redstone dust. Uh, block. With the torch. Block on top of whoop, block on top of that, and then that's it. That's your next one. So you got this one now. Put another one there. Boop. Block of redstone. Two blocks underneath it. I'm sure you guys are quick, getting quicker at it now. So then you're going to come along here. Put this one down. Put this one. Put your block on top. Remember to do your uh, output as well. Very important. To here, and then your torch on the back. So let's do five again, like we done last time. So it's the same example, like this, boop, one, whoops, one, two, block, torch, block, torch, we've done this so many times now you can't get it wrong, along there, so how many have we got now, we've got one, two, three, four, and then the last one, so this is how you finish it off, whoops, you don't throw your piston to finish it off, <laughs> you're going to put your, tor your block in the middle there, you're going to place a block down here, but with no torch on the back, because you're not going to the next one, okay? So you're going to come under here, put that block there, and your output, okay? So there's no torch on here going to another one. That's only if you want it to, uh, if you want to add another uh, output, okay? Another RS Norlatch. So, we're nearly there. What we're going to do now is place down the lead to activate them one at a time, which is this. Place your redstone on top, like this. And then you can place your button down. And now as you can see, if we hit it once, the first torch comes on. We hit it again. Now there's the first and the second one. We hit it again. There's now the first, second, and third. Again, first, second, third, and fourth. And then finally, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. But we haven't got the reset line in. The reset line is the simplest thing you have ever seen. So you come back here, place a row of redstone dust on top, and place your button. Boop. And it's all back again. All the torches have turned off again, and you can start again. So it's a perfect little mini game scoreboard if you were doing, if you're making any sort of mini game, basketball, ice hockey, football, anything like that. If you needed to count something, uh, deaths even. If you were counting deaths, you could, you know, first one to ten deaths wins, 
Oh, or losers, sorry. <laughs> first one to 10 deaths losers, or first one to 10 kills wins. You could use this to count how many kills you've got. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys are impressed, because it's something that you guys can easily build now on your own worlds. It looks really impressive. It looks really complicated. It looks like, um, you know, you're a redstone expert, when in reality, now you know how to build it. It's really not that hard. <clears throat> and when people ask you, my voice went then, I'm sorry. When people ask you, uh, well, what is it called? You can say, it's an RS Norlatch Array, which sounds so complicated, doesn't it? It really, really does. But you can say, yeah, it, it, it's used to uh, remember stuff. Basically, in short, if you really want to impress them, an RS Norlatch is something that can store a piece of memory. Okay? So that's what it is. RS Norlatch will store a piece of memory. So I want that to remember that it's on. So it will always remember that it's on. And then I can make it forget it. Okay? Same as over here. I want to remember that I've killed one person. And now I want to remember that I've killed two people. And now I want to remember that I've killed three people. And now I want it to forget it all. Okay? So that sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Hope you guys could follow along. I'm so pleased that you guys have been enjoying this series. Uh, the response that I've had so far has been unbelievable, saying, finally, a Redstone series that I can understand, a Redstone series that I can follow. You know, a Redstone series where he's not rushing through everything and he's taking his time to explain things and finding out how it works. That's my goal for this series, is to make you guys actually understand how Redstone works and not just copying tutorials of how to do certain things. If you guys can build the individual components yourself, you'll be able to do some really cool stuff once you know it all. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. It really does, I really do appreciate it. It really does help me out. If you haven't already and you want more Redstone tutorials, feel free to subscribe and we shall see you in the next episode. Bye!